Hey there, YouTube land, and I am back because I was just about to get my tea, and I was starting to close up the uh, things because I just did the UK wish list, and I noticed that there was really inexpensive looking uh, <coughs> DVD that Arrow put out, so I hit on it, and it brought me to four for ten. So there's more movies on here than Arrow, but I just wanted to show basically showcase the Arrow movies that are on in the 4 for 10 section. Uh, there's about uh, 8 pages, they're all DVD, <coughs> so sorry Blu-ray fans, but uh, some stuff has never been put out on Blu-ray for, for the Arrow editions anyway. Uh, first up is Deadly Spawn, which uh, apparently has some magnificent features on it. Again, it's uh, 4 for 10, 3 pounds if you want to get that way, but uh, these are very tempting. I mean, I'm going to be getting more from the Arrow sale itself from the Arrow website, uh, but uh, these could definitely be awesome stocking stuffers. Surf Nazis Must Die, the Trauma one, if you're into that one, that one's there. Uh, two, man, these two are on my, were on my wish list before, and uh, they're, I thought they are just a little too expensive, but uh, four for ten, I may have to pick these up. <clears throat> Super Bitch, uh, Massimo, and uh, the other film that he did in The Night Child, we did more than that, but uh, these are two that I really want. So, oh man, yeah. Uh, Deep Red, the Aerodrome Edition, if you don't have it. Uh, Midnight, John Russo. Uh, let us keep checking. <clears throat> don't Go in the House, the Aerodrome one. There's no other edition of it there. Don't Go in the House is actually a pretty cool movie. A little brutal. Uh, we have uh, the uh, Birth Crystal Plumage, the Aerodrome Edition, if you want to get yourself like some cheaper Argento. Or Beyond Reanimator, and as you know, I recommended that one for because for its not just that it's a decent movie, but there's an hour long retrospective on the whole Reanimator franchise. Uh, that's incredible. That really needs to be had. Uh, the Aerodrome edition of Funhouse, Aerodrome edition of Pin. So if you don't have Pin, this is a really cheap way to get a really great movie. Four for ten is a great price. Like, there's other stuff here, wrong turn, I attach it to, all this stuff, but I just want to talk the Arrow stuff right now. Cat of Nine Tails, the Aerodrome edition as well, so if you want to grab some uh, cheaper general, they have some nice coverage to them, like, and if some of these have, like, actual decent features to them, and, like, booklets that are done just for those editions. Uh, the Card Player, I definitely, if you haven't picked up the Card Player, is it his best movie? No, but you really should, if you're a general collector and a giallo collector, it should be in your collection anyway. Yeah, it's got a gorgeous cover. It's not, it's not, you're not going to get a better cover, even on Blu-ray, than the for the uh, card player that Arrow put out. And just go Google it. It's really nice. The Mount of Severed Head. It's a Paul Nashy film. Not one of his best, but you know. Uh, the Vineyard, uh, James Hong. That actually is a really good movie. It came out just for Aerodrome. We have... Uh, the Exterminator, the Aerodrome Edition, and if you don't have the Exterminator, it's it's a really fun film. A canon classic. Uh, Romasanta, The Werewolf Hunt. I don't know anything about it, but it's one of the Fantastic Factory ones. I've never seen it. At least if I did, I didn't remember it. Uh, Demons 2, the Arrow, Arrow Edition. The DVD Edition. Now see, I have the Demons Blu-ray uh, steelbook up there with both of them on it. But I'm tempted to get this because when they put it on DVD, they put out, they didn't have the space in the steelbook, but they put a comic book with it, like Demons 3. The comic, you know, Demons 1's the movie, Demons 2's the TV, on the TV, like on the VHS, and Demons 3's the comic. So I really want to check that out. So I might have to grab that. That's really, really cool. I just reverse the cover. I have a, uh, Demons is one of my favorite movies. I really do like that movie. I really dig that one. Zadichi, The Blind Swordsman. Uh, that's the original Zadichi. Uh, it's on the Aerodrome edition. The Zadichi films are good. And it's a good way to go and see a Zadichi film before you invest into uh, that really big, really cool uh, Criterion box set set there. Pretty sexy stuff. The Devil's Kiss, I don't remember very well, but it's definitely one that looks interesting to me. It's an Aerodrome edition. And here's one <laughs> that's not Arrow. But it's so cool, and it's on my wish list too, so... Oh, it's not in stock. Bloody hell. Uh, 
That's not an English accent. Uh, I wasn't trying. It's just horrible. Uh, Razorback. Uh, I really like the movie Razorback. Unfortunately, it's not there. Yes, I like some unusual movies. <clears throat> yeah, are there any more here? Let us see. Like, there's some other stuff. There's like 2001 Maniacs here, uh, which is a cool one. There's like, uh, you know, Devil's Bridge, 2001 Maniacs Field of Screams, which I think was a sequel to 2001 Maniacs, which was a sequel on its own. Embodiment of Evil, which I think might be Coffin Joe? Is it Coffin Joe? I'm ashamed that I don't know that. The Master of Horror is back. Yeah, it is Coffin Joe. So, <laughs> there's some great stuff. If you're a horror fan, go over to Amazon UK and, uh, you know, Amazon.co.uk and, like, look through the stuff. There's some really great stuff. And they did have a lot of, they have a lot of cool stuff. And if you haven't got into any of the, uh, this stuff yet, this is, these are all DVDs, so, uh, you know, you can get, most Blu-ray, most players nowadays can play region-free, at least DVDs. I mean, like, in a lot of places, you know, you, it's harder to find a region-free Blu-ray player, but almost every DVD player there has a hack to, uh, to unlock the regions for it. And uh, your computer does as well, by the way. So, there are some great stuff there, and not only that, but you also get some really cool features on there as well. And uh, some different covers. <clears throat> like, Surf Nazis Must Die is definitely not something that tops my list. But a uh, great cover. And 4 for 10? Uh, I know Super Bitch and Night Child are ones I'm going to be begging for really soon. Because, uh, you know, that's that's a really good price. I mean, I want to get some Arrow stuff. so <clears throat> And I know I'm going to be grabbing some of the stuff. From the uh, from the sale, I got like some points saved up, saved up there. So remember, guys, when you uh, ever you buy air stuff off the Arrow website, especially right now during the sale, you get reward points for everything that you buy. So check back in to your reward points. You may have enough there to get like uh, another movie or get another bundle, which is what I'm going to do. I'm almost close to a bundle there, so maybe uh, I'll just top it off, and I'll uh, grab another bundle. I'm hoping to grab depends on my better half and how much money I get for Christmas. Uh, I like to grab <clears throat> just a couple more bundles to uh, to go with that, and uh, would, if she's really really generous, maybe I can grab a <coughs> four from here, because that's really really great prices. I mean, there's just some great stuff on here. Um, yeah, if you don't have a lot of this stuff, definitely check it out. Get Beyond Re Beyond Reanimator. Dead and Driving is here, by the way. From Aerodrome, that's another good one. So, uh, just inc some incredible stuff. Check it out. Uh, just wanted to give you a heads up on the sale. Uh, it's probably been going on for a while, but I just didn't know about it. But because I haven't been checking on UK for till I did this uh, video for you guys just a few minutes ago. So, thanks for watching. From here right now, it's time for tea because I really didn't get it last time around. And uh, have a great night. The giant lobster head says, four for ten is a good deal. Do you guys like the giant lobster head? I have had it there for a while. <clears throat> it's actually part of my better half's Halloween costume this year, for which she won a uh, an award for it. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, it's really time for tea.